Hello everybody, this is a quick update on the melons. Uh, today was uh, whew, probably 32 degrees. It was uh, so hot that actually my ground caught fire, like I have uh, not this part, but on another portion where I have a lot of peat moss, it was so dry that while I was smoking a cigar, a piece fell off and I didn't realize, and then I found it was actually burning the ground. So crazy weather but fantastic for the melons. Um, this update is just to show that the, the, my method of growing them in those pit pots, larger pit pots, cutting them in four, and like I show you, actually work because they, they went in, I would say, zero shock. They just kept growing, like not even for a day they stopped. And I have like these three, here is a watermelon, another uh, cantaloupe, there it was uh, something else that I put, I don't add ah, the Zata melon and another watermelon right there. But I'm going to show you right there in the corner, I have a Montreal melon and it's actually already flowering. So we are what, May 26, 27, and I got flower here, here right down there and it keeps going so hopefully we'll see the weather because now it's gonna be a few days very hot but then uh, i've actually uh, uh, some uh, frost warning for next week and at night uh, it should go to zero minus one obviously under the cover is gonna be fine but sorry about the truck it's uh, by my calculation i should be able if everything goes well, I'm going to keep up maybe with uh, some pollination on that one. So I have lots of bees. It shouldn't be a problem, but just to be safe. I would guess in 10 days I might have some uh, female flower. Because a week after the first male flower come up, usually you start to have some females. So let's say 10 days they get pollinated. So let's say two weeks and then four to five weeks for the melon. So Maybe my goal that was to harvest by middle uh, of July, third week of July, in the peak of the season. Maybe this year finally is going to come through. We'll see. I don't want to jinx it, but uh, it's looking good. The other melon, the one that I have up there on the roof. I don't know if you can see them from here. But anyway, I went to the roof today. Uh, they were very dry, but still uh, green. So I just give them a a drink because we are not having rain so uh, I as you can see like I'm watering uh, as much as I can but I can't complain the heat is fantastic and I just wanted to give you this update uh, maybe I'm gonna come back with an update when I'm gonna have actually female flowers on them and see how everything's gonna go all right thanks for watching take care